Hey, it's Ben with Advanced Basement Systems. Thanks for stopping by our website today. I have a very special guest uh, in studio with me. This is Mike Moody. He's our certified radon professional. And uh, Mike's gonna be doing some FAQs with us today about radon gas testing and radon gas mitigation. So Mike, why don't you uh, start by telling us how long you've been with the company, how long you've been doing radon gas, and what exactly a certified radon professional even is. Well, Ben, I've been with the company uh, for eight years. Um, I've done radon for seven, got certified. I was originally US certified before Canada had certification. Uh, I went through all the training and did the cross training to uh, become a certified uh, professional in radon in uh, Canada. Okay, so why don't you clarify for us what exactly is radon gas? Well, radon gas is a natural occurring decay from uranium in the ground. And as it decays, it produces the radon gas. Right. And uh, it's a radon decay product in it that you inhale and ingest that can lead to symptoms of lung cancer. And it's the second leading cause of lung cancer? Yes, it is the second leading cause of uh, lung cancer next to smoking. Okay, wow. Um, now, radon gas, you've explained what it is. How exactly does it get into our homes? It gets actually pulled into the house because of the natural stack effect that a, right. that a building will produce. And the stack effect is the act of breathing in from the basement or the crawl space and, and it pulls air up. Yes, and we have a lot of people who will ask questions and say, how does this air get into my house? There is an outside air pressure on the ground outside all the time. Okay. And because of a building is a closed cell and creates heating or, you know, creates the stack effect, mm -hmm. it creates as like a pump. I see. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So basically in a basement, it's coming through things like a sump pump and your basement floor cracks. And if you have a dirt floor crawl space, it just comes right through the earth? Exactly. Okay. So if we have a basement um, and we want to find out that we have radon, uh, what's the best way to, to, to test for it? Um, Canada recommends a 90-day test during the heating season. Uh, heating season is best just because the fact that we are warming the houses mm -hmm. and heating them, which causes more stack effect. And we all know that heat does rise. Um, so that's the that's the primary higher levels in a home. Okay, and this is a test kit that we can buy and just deploy ourselves. Yes, yeah, so you can get a test kit. You can deploy it yourself. Send it to a, a lab and get your results, and and it'll give you a number of what your levels are in your home. Okay, and would it be best to put it in the basement or on the main level? You want to put it in an area that uh, you know you spend more than four hours in. Um, I always like to test a basement even if it's unfinished because at some point that basement could become a finished basement. I see. And if they have uh, a dirt floor crawl space, basically the same thing for testing? You would test in the living area. Okay, I see. So we wouldn't put the test in the crawl space. No. Makes sense. Okay, now let's say we've done our testing and we do have a higher level of radon because uh, as we know, all houses have a little bit of radon or a lot of radon. So if we have a lot of radon, what do we do in order to mitigate this problem to, to make the radon basically go away? Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to separate the earth from basically the bottom of the house. And we need to seal it off and separate it. And we're going to change the pressure and we're going to pull that outside air that is coming from outside and is collecting the radon gas as it passes underneath your home. And we're just going to exhaust it outside. I see. Okay. And with a dirt crawl space, I mean, this is uh, however many square feet your house is, you've got that many square feet of earth that's just breathing right on into your home. H how do you go about, uh, you know, depressurizing that? Well, first of all, what we have to do is we can't really mitigate it until we actually separate it from the house. So we have to separate the soil. So we use an encountering clean space encapsulation, and then we'll spray foam to seal it up and everything needs to be sealed tight. And underneath that, we will have vents, piping that will collect the soil gas and then run it to a, a basically a fan to pump it outside. Now, this all sounds like it could be very complicated, but of course, you know, in reality, I, I've seen the work done. My parents have a radon mitigation system in their home, so I, I can speak firsthand and, and you can expand on that. It's, it's a very simple job. It's a very simple process. It is a very simple solution. and. Uh, you know, I've, over seven years, I believe that almost um, every building now should be vented underneath and 
no soil gases should enter our living space. That's a great point. And you know, we found when we mitigate homes for radon, it reduces overall odors in the home and moisture levels as well. That's right. And also too, what it what I found they'll do is because you're passing the air from outside, underneath the structure of the home, it will reduce humidity and smells from underneath there. That's fantastic. Now, um, you had mentioned you were certified first on the American side of things and then later Canada. And Canada actually didn't have a program right off the hop. And we're still a little bit behind on the whole uh, leniency of how much radon is bad. Um, now, if you could talk to us, maybe some people have done their own testing already. W what is the, the number or the level that is acceptable? Canada has set theirs at 200 back rails. Um, the United States is, you'll see it's four Piku Curies converted over to back rails, which is a metric version. So you times it by 37 is 148. The worldwide number is 100. Mm -hmm. And most homes that, you know, re put a mitigation system in, we can bring them below 75. Okay, so underneath the international standard. And it's surprising to see that Canada is actually double the international standard. And do you think that's going to change anytime soon? I think it is going to change. And I, I know already, like in the U.S., they're looking at reducing that number and actually getting it a little closer to uh, the worldwide one. That's fantastic. Well, if you have more questions, you can actually call our office toll-free on the number anywhere you see on our website, and you can speak with Mike directly. He can answer your questions. If you'd like to purchase a test kit from us, which is the 90-day version Mike had spoke about, or if you'd like sooner results, we can deploy a 72-hour, uh, it's called a CRM, which is a continuous radon monitoring unit, and that only takes three days. We can do that for you too. Um, if you've tested and you do have high radon, you can call and schedule a free estimate to have your mitigation quote performed by Mike in your home and you can find out exactly what the cost would be to get that problem out of your home. Thanks so much for your time today, Mike. Thank you, Ben.